Yo, what's going on guys? Pretty fair bringing the YouTube video today. I wanted to bring another tips and tricks video to you guys and I was thinking about what to do this tips and tricks on because I have a few more topics off the top of my head that I'd want to talk to you guys about for you know improving your game but today is a little bit something different. I've had a lot of requests in the YouTube um, comment sections but basically like messages on Twitter is where I get the majority of them. So a lot of people have been asking me you know how to do this slide or can you slide in Battlefield 1 now I'm sure a lot of people have been watching you know other twitch streamers other youtubers that are doing this little slide thing and I you know honestly I've never really done it like knowingly it just kinda of accidentally happened I mean I knew how to do it but I've never thought to myself I need to slide because that would help me but it actually is kind of helpful so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys tips on that uh, and it's really not a tips and tricks it's kinda of just showing you guys how to do it I guess if you don't know how uh, and some of you are gonna know this but a lot of you guys probably don't know or haven't figured it out or you know whatever maybe you do you know then cool you don't really have to watch this video but for some of you guys that maybe you have no idea how to do it or you just don't know about it this one's for you so basically the only way to slide in Battlefield 1 is to be sprinting and you're gonna crouch it's literally you hit the crouch button and you're good now if you want to do it there's two slides you have the slow slide, which leaves you crouched, and then you have the fast slide, which will be like basically like a pop-up slide in baseball. Like if you're sliding into second base, you do a pop-up slide, you come straight up to your feet, ready to run again. Um, that's probably the best one, just for the main fact that you can actually get up and run. There's no stutter movement to it. When you're doing the normal crouch one, then there seems to be kind of like a stutter step to it, and it's really not as effective um, for sliding around corners and checking, you know, head glitches, whatever. So what I've been doing in public match games a lot, uh, especially operations, is if I know this, there's going to be somebody head glitching, say, like a rock, I would slide across the corner, make them shoot at me, and then I would just lean out and pick them off the head glitch. Um, so it's actually kind of effective. So if you don't slide, I don't know if I would necessarily say you're missing something or you're missing out or whatever. I would more say that it's something that can kind of help you in certain situations. And if you can do it, then go ahead and do it. Um, but it's really not hard. Anybody's going to be able to do it. You don't have to have a scuff. You don't have to have a keyboard. You can literally do this with anything. And you're going to see me in this gameplay um, do it. I show both the ways. So this first way, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a slow crouch slide. That right there was the pop-up slide. So whenever I hit the ground, it, it popped me straight back up. And you can do it repeatedly. You can do it. You can spam your crouch button. Like right there, that was the stutter slide. I don't like that one. That was smooth. You can tell the difference by which one is more smooth. So the more smooth one is going to be your pop-up slide. The really slow, sluggish one is going to be your stutter step slide. And that's the one that I don't really recommend doing. Uh, sometimes you might accidentally do it, but if you can help it, don't don't ever do the stutter step when it's not that effective. But the other one is really, really effective. And there's a branch off of the, the pop-up slide that you can actually do where you kind of spam your crouch button while you're running, which is right here. And you see how fast it actually basically slides or glides across the map. You can go super, super fast, and you still end up in that pop-up slide position. That way you're able to get into more engagements and do all that stuff. So... That's really it on how to slide. I mean, I didn't really know how to make this video any other way, but I had a lot of requests, so I figured I would go ahead and do it this way. I tried doing a live comm, but it kind of got weird because the slide took like three minutes to explain, and the live comm was going to be like eight to ten minutes, so I didn't really want to do a full gameplay. Uh, this is just a clip of me sliding, and I think I'm at like nine or ten and oh or something like that. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you guys in the U.S. had a great Thanksgiving. I was not on YouTube very much, so if anybody commented and I haven't got to you yet, I promise I will. Um, I've had a pretty busy week. Um, I haven't been able to play any games at all. If, uh, let's see, Sunday my girlfriend came down to see me, and I left my controller in her car, and I couldn't drive. I can't drive because I had a seizure. I'll explain all that in a different video. Um, but I can't. I haven't been able to drive for like two months, so I've been kind of just trying to do what I can do and since she had my controller I couldn't record I couldn't do anything and I didn't have any gameplay on my PC so that's kinda where I've been the only video I was able to upload was a stream highlights video and that's because it's all odd shots from twitch when I stream so it, it was kinda one of those things where I was really upset because I was I was on a roll for a while man I was uploading damn near every day 
and it was really, really enjoyable, and I loved doing it, and it seemed like people were really enjoying the content I was putting out, a lot of the tips and tricks stuff, so no worries, I will be doing more tips and tricks stuff in the future, I have a lot more gameplay coming out, there's actually a Battlefield 1 kickoff tournament for the PS4 in like 9 hours from now, 8 hours, 9 hours, 10 hours, something like that, from when I'm recording this video, and I was supposed to play in it, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to have a full team. It's 12v12 Conquest. Uh, it's a test cup, so we'll see. If there is, you can expect a lot of gameplay from that. I'm really, really stoked to get back into competitive in this game. And uh, I can't wait for 5v5s. Conquest is cool, but I'd really play 5v5s. You already know. Uh, so get ready for that. Um, tomorrow I'll be streaming and stuff like that. I don't have work or anything. So that'll be another big thing. And, you know, we'll see what goes but we'll see what goes on. Um, hopefully I won't be leaving my controller or my girlfriend's car anytime soon. Uh, with Christmas coming up in about a month, though, I uh, will be grinding YouTube videos and streaming a whole lot more than what I have been. And, yeah, it should be a whole lot of fun. Hopefully vlogs will come out sometime soon. I do have a camera, so we'll see what goes on there. But hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you guys learned a little bit about sliding, and maybe you guys can put it to use and make your gameplay better. But if that's going to be all for me, guys, I'll see you guys later with another video. It's been your boy, been your boy Proof. I can't talk right now. I'm out. Peace.